So let's talk about uh, the suspension of this uh, CVR at the moment. Uh, it could, I, I've got a comment here via WhatsApp, and it it, uh, it tallies with the question I'm about to ask you right now. So I might as well just read the message via WhatsApp. Hello, Daya. Can you please ask our very esteemed guest how the word continuous is compatible with suspension or eventual stoppage or cessation of voters' registration? Ibi Bozimo said that. Now, it's a, a continuous exercise. Um, why then are we suspending, or is INEC at this time suspending something that's supposed to be continuous? Okay, let me say that um, at the end of every election, the law stipulates that we should start a process of registering, um, doing the voters' registration to allow people who couldn't register before then and who would turn 18 after the general election to be able to register. And when we start that process, we do it on a continuous basis until we stop it. So we started it in June of 2011. And um, that's 2021, sorry. And that is continuing until the end of June of 2022. So when we started, we were, were continuing with it. Now, what is being suspended? Remember that for the first time, this time, INEC introduced an opportunity for people to also participate in this online. So what it means is that if somebody wants to register to vote, instead of just coming straight to our registration center to start the process of putting in your details, and then your fingerprint is captured, and then your photos uh, are taken, you can actually go online and start the process, fill in all those information that we require from you, and then book an appointment to come to a registration center physically so that your fingerprints uh, could be taken and the photographs taken. So when you do that, you choose a particular center you want to go to, the day you want to go there, and the time. So when you go there with um, a printout of that your pre-registration, you are attended to immediately based on the time you are chosen. Now, that is what we are going to suspend now. And why do we have to suspend this? It's because we are going to stop the registration on the 30th, at the end of 30th of June. So the last day for the registration is going to be 30th of June for all the activities, whether it's the transfer, um, request for new cards and all that. It will end on the 30th of June this year. But for people who are doing pre-registration. Remember, when you do pre-registration, you still have to come physically to complete it. So we thought that it is important for that pre-registration to have a cut-off point so that it gives the people who are done pre-registration enough time to come and complete it. I mean, if we continued with that, it would mean that even on the last day of registration, people can still do pre-registration and they won't be able to come and complete it because it would have ended the registration on the 30th of, of June. So we said one month to that time, we will stop the online pre-registration. It is only the pre-registration that will be 